Football League on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Denver Broncos and the New York Jets. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. Well, Brock, the fans were out and shouting J-E-T-S Jets well before the gates opened here. And now they fill the stands of MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Hewitt on the call in this one. And Brock, got a couple of running backs down on the field who can really take over their offenses when they get in the groove. And I think that's going to be the ultimate goal of both of these offenses, right? I mean, there's just no confusion about it. They want to get their belt cow in that groove and get them going. Find that rhythm where they're ripping off chunk yardage run after run and then just keep on feeding that beast. In a game like this, Whichever offense can get that rhythm and run game going first is likely going to be your winner. Here's Thomas Morstead out for the opening kick. And away we go from East Rutherford. Marvin Mims now to return it. He stopped on the return at the 27. Mm, after that return, he's looking pretty banged up out there. We're going to have a stoppage as team personnel comes out to look at him. out now to get this game started. It's first and ten. Drive begins with a run. It's Williams. And it took a couple of backs to haul him down there after a gain of just one. It's plays like that, Kate, that I'm happy I'm the color analyst and you and your spotter to do a play-by-play play, because that was a massive humanity, a whole bunch of bodies to sort through for one yard. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Shotgun snap to Nix. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. So now it's going to be third and long. As a defense, you got to see the pass. you got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. On third down, here's Nix. Finds his man on route complete. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. Now head up first and 10 from the 42. Shotgun snap to Nix. Pass taken in by Sutton. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. Options are open here. It's second and inches. From the gun, a carry by Williams. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Hey, Kate, on any given run play, you really have two oppositions. Two positions fighting for the same gap. Hey, you got the runner that wants to hit it. But when you got a linebacker that triggers like that and gets downhill, well, this time he put him for a loss. On third down, here's Williams. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Defense holds yet again. And now it's fourth and a yard. Here comes the Broncos punting unit. And he's got a good chance to really stick him deep his first time out. The six, but can't check up. It gets into the end zone for a touchback. So the Jets take the field for their first drive. They're led out by the four-time MVP who's been in this league since 2005, Aaron Rodgers. 
Well, these Jets fans, they've been waiting for this moment. They only got four snaps of Aaron Rodgers a season ago before, unfortunately, that Achilles snapped. He's put himself in tremendous shape. He worked to almost get back last season, and that arm and that release, Kate, it is still one of the most dynamic in the game. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. From the shotgun, Rodgers. And the catch is made down the right sideline. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big game and a new set of downs. He finds 37 yards on the play to move those chains. Now, right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom! Connect on a big shot, and instantly you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. So the big play gets him inside the opposing 45. Brock with a new set of downs to boot. Here's Brees Hall on the ground for the first time. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Ball at the 33 for first down. They go right back to Hall. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. Second and six coming up here. From the 29. That's complete to Wilson. And this one does not go far. Third and four coming up now. Rogers here from the gun. Jets a first down. And those are the completions they rely on in their passing game. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. From the red zone now. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. That drop ruins the payoff to a well-designed play. It got a man open, it beat the coverage. That's a call they can revisit in the future with hopefully a much better job finishing the catch. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Again, Rodgers. The throw is caught. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while, you know you could take a lick at any time. So now here's third and five. Throwing again. It's Rogers. Screen set up here. And he crosses out of bounds, and now we're going to learn who the penalty flag is on. He got a major fistful of jersey on that play, and it's going to end up costing him. Backed up now after the penalty. It's third down. Throwing once again, Rodgers. Oh, he got it. Interception. Riley Moss with the pick. Well, that's it right there. That's the resilience and the mental toughness that every coach wants to see from his defense. Not a great spot for him. Backed up close enough that they're going to get shots taken in the end zone. But instead of collapsing under pressure, they rose up and they created the takeaway. The Denver offense taking the field for their second drive. And they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt.
offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Shotgun snap to Knicks. Defender runs right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Well-timed strike by that defender to knock it free. And it sets up second down. The defender's not going to be thrilled. The catch was almost made on his watch, but more importantly, he breaks it up. Gives him a chance to do a little giant after the play. Let's the other guy know he roughed him up and cost him that catch. And he catches May down the right sideline. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Big gainer here as he picks up 20. And the Broncos will have a first down. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things. Separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks. That's the trust. And then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. It's always nice to see teams still employ a fullback. I love rewarding the big guy with some touches during the game. They earn those looks. That was a well-run route. And he showed some soft hands to bring it in. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Up the duck they go with Williams. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Short yardage situation here, it's third and two. Play action with Nix. Gets everything he has under this throw. Defender runs right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Well, that was almost one of those nice troop plays you like to see in the NFL kick before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And that's going to pin them as deep as it can go. They're going to be set up inside their own five-yard line. The second drive coming up now for the Jets' offense. And as they take the field, Brock, they got to be thankful that interception didn't cost them. Still scoreless here. <laughs> I like how you say they. I think the quarterback in particular <laughs> yep. right, loves a chance to have and golf a breakfast ball or a mulligan. Another Ooh. opportunity to flush that first drive away. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Throwing from near his own goal line. Corey lives it in. And he's going to step out a little short of the ten. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Second and six coming up here. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. We'll see on the slant. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Off play action, Rodgers. Escapes the pocket. He's keeping it, and he evades any kind of trouble, but only a short game to show for it after sliding down. I love that play. I, I mean, that's quarterback 101. Nothing downfield. Get what you can with your legs, but so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability, one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. They give on second to Hall. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Offense set for a first and ten. Here's Hall once more. And he won't win the race to the outside. That runs bottled up at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Yeah. 
They go right back to home. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. No gain on the play. And they still need 10 now on third down. Working out of the gun. It's Rodgers. That's caught for the first. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Now after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainer's heading out to take a look. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Off play action. Rodgers. Headed out right. And, and they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Pretty even match in this first half. And you're just kind of waiting. Right? You just kind of try to get a feel for which defense is going to come to life. And when you get that sack... That could go a long way to infusing some energy on that side of the ball. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Another try following the sack. And the catch is made down the right side. Great effort there. So through one, this game, more for you defensive maestros out there. Couple of zeros on the board right now. More for MetLife, coming right up. Time for the second quarter of play, it's Jets football. They're looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. And he won't win the race to the outside. That runs up at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Rogers. Four step to his right. Now he takes it. Third and a lone yard coming up. Rogers here from the gun. That's caught for the first. And he's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. They come through with a nice skate of 10 and a first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. set up now first and ten Wilson's got it and this play reaches the 12 yard line before the stop is made I really like the timing of that screen call to the perimeter get the ball in space to operate and turns into a nice game after a good pickup they're set up with second and short Rodgers will look to throw. Catch made. And this one's stopped at the three-yard line. A nice gate of eight there. And that brings them to first and goal. Throwing once again. Rodgers. If you're going to complete that 
one successfully, Brock. You need the perfect throw. Just the right touch. And you also need a guy who can go up and get it just like that. Yeah, need to be able to muscle somebody off the ball if you're not alone. And call me a little biased. Go ahead. I don't care. <laughs> you're biased. But the success of that play does come down to the timing of the uh, throw, Kate. Uh -huh. If you don't throw it on time to that exact spot, you run out of room, and you don't give yourself that kind of chance. Greg Zerline for the point after try. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. It's all lined up. Morstead ready to send this fly. Here's Trayvon Smith with the return. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Broncos running their offense out once again. Still in search of their first points as we work our way through the middle of this game. The score is 7 0. Ready to begin this drive. First and ten. To throw. Here's Nix. That's incomplete. Trying to set up the screen there. This one intended for the running back. And it sets up second down. that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believe it, your guy can get there. Battle coming up on third and inches. Running for the marker with Williams. Has the first, but wants more. He's past the 45. He got 24 yards on the play. And that'll be good for a Denver first. You know I love that, Kate, but you know who loved it even more? The late, great John Madden himself, the former lineman. He would have loved watching the student body get right out in front of that thing. Those blockers just knocking people off the ball. And let him clear the way so that running back could show off his speed. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Give to Williams from the gun. And they needed more than one defender. Their powerful runner stopped with just one yard. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Another run for Williams. And he stopped at the 31-yard line. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that'll be good for a Denver first. We know how hard explosive plays can be in the NFL, and so often they come via the air. What a great help for the offense to find an explosive play on the ground. Well done. On first and 10, here's Nix. No close to go, so he was thrown away. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, well, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Now Nix. Still a turnover. 
Well, sir, you're looking to try to get a first down on second down. You're trying to create a manageable third down, but I'll tell you what you're not trying to do ever is give the ball away. And that's what the offense does to the defense right there. The Jets and Aaron Rodgers headed back out on offense. They threw it the whole way down the field on their last drive, and they welcome the same level of play on this series as well. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Rodgers. Able to hit hole. Complete. And he's tackled for a short game. Kid, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. But one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Here we go, second and nine. It's taken in by Williams. And he's down after getting this up to the front one. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. As a quarterback, when you throw that curl route, right, you know it's a tight window, Kate. But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. On first down, here comes Hall. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Good defensive tackles in this league, Kate. They can take up a couple blockers. Great defensive tackles. Well, they stuff the stat sheet just like that, knocking that run backwards before it could get started. All right, here we go. Second down. They go right back to Hall. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. It's a five-yard gain, and that brings up third and seven. From the shotgun, Rogers. Throw left side, complete. Just shy of the 40. Given 15 yards on the pickup there. And it's good enough for a New York first down. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. First and 10 from the 41. Rogers here from the gun. plan that kept me up at night more than any other it was an out route versus zone coverage because you got to throw with anticipation but you also got to make sure those defenders eyes aren't reading you like a book Paul running between the tackles and that's good yardage with a new set of downs yeah you want to get above five yards to carry Put together runs like that. And I'll tell you what else a run like that does, Kate. That sets up the play action. Right? When you really just gouge and gash a defense like that, the next time you run that action, they're going to be thinking running the ball to go right over their head. From the red zone now. He's got it. And this one stopped at the three yard line. Kate, one thing I learned from the late great Mike Leach is yeah, the system was called air raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. They give on second to Hall. And he's dropped to just short the marker, maybe a yard away. So it's the two-minute warning here from MetLife. The Jets with the football. Here we go, third and less than a yard. 
Rodgers to throw. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate. From John Mackey to Tony Gonzalez to Travis Kelsey, the position can be such a mismatch when you're throwing for the end zone. Zerline on now for the extra point. One right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. All lined up. Morstead ready to send this fly. He fields it from the eight. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Denver set to take the field on offense. They haven't been able to get that offense going just yet, Brock. The deficit at 14. Starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap to Nix. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Well-timed strike by that defender to knock it free. And it's going to be second down. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Again on second and ten. Nix finding Reynolds. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big game and a new set of downs. It's a pickup of 33 yards. And the Broncos will have a first down. You can't start a fire without a spark. Well, how about a lightning bolt? What a huge game that totally changes the tone of the drive. Down inside the 40 now with a first down following that last play. Nicks from the gun. And he finds the seam down the middle, completes. And he'll score. Touchdown, Denver. The Broncos make it a one score game before halftime. Cortland Sutton, the touchdown. Will Lutz now on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Xavier Gibson now to return. A flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no, and it's got to come back.
So the penalty on the return doesn't do them any favors, Brock. A lot more field ahead of them here starting out. Throwing on first down, Rogers. This is reeled in by Wilson. And he's tackled for a short game. The Jets take their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second down now, seven to go. From the shotgun, Rogers. Corley reels it in. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. That's a pickup of nine. And it'll give the Jets a first down. Rodgers here from the gun. Into traffic, complete. And he's brought down after a short game. Timeout taken by New York. That's his second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Second down now, seven to go. Going again, it's Rogers. Puts his body on the line, and he got it! That play good for 17 on the first down. Now the offense going to take its third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. That is all-out effort, Kate, to make the catch. Putting his body on the line, diving for the ball. He earned that reception, and some more targets are clearly coming his way in the future. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Throwing once again, Rodgers. Wilson's got it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big game and a new set of downs. It's a 31-yard play, and it'll give the Jets a first down. Working inside the red zone. Couldn't bring it in over the middle. Incomplete. That brings us to the break. The Jets with a halftime lead here in East Rutherford. Now down the coast we go to Orlando, Florida in our studio there. Jonathan Coachman waiting by with the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, we saw some great play from Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Here's Lutz set to kick this away. Xavier Gibson now to return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Jets and Aaron Rodgers headed back out on offense. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. They start the drive with Hall. And he'll take this up to about the 34 before he stopped. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. They go right back to Hall. And he'll 
go down and this a right at the 39 yard line. They get six and a first down as well. From the shotgun, Rogers. It's a 33-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. That's complete to Wilson. And he's tackled for a short game. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second down now, seven to go. A give left side for Hall. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Back to the line they go. It's second down. They'll run here following the penalty. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They get three on the run. Put a one in front of that now as it brings up third and 13. out of the gun. It's Rogers. The fender runs right as the ball does and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. And that brings up fourth and long. Can't cover it much better than that really well covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. Nothing to critique there. Good snap, good hold, and it puts it through to pay off the drive with three points. It's all lined up. Morstead ready to send this fly. Returning it from the four. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Broncos and Cortland Sutton taking the field once again. They're down 10 partway through this one. Score is 17-7. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Second half starts with a run by Williams. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. From the 37. Pass taken in by Sutton. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. It's a gain of four. And the Broncos will have a first down. Here's Nix. 
So pass cut by his tight end. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on the throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Second and three now. From the 47. Completed to Reynolds. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Ball on the 45. First and 10. Some early movement on the left side there, but was he the first to go, or was he provoked? So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump, and, well, they got one of them to move that time. They're set back five by that false start. Now 15 yards to the marker. Running it after the penalty. Avoids the defender. We've got a foot race. Down around the 34. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. Here's first and 10 from the 34. In motion right is Mims. He's got a nice run. That reaches the 26. Good run. Gets him seven. That brings up second and three. Well, I know this. This staff loves the athleticism and versatility he brings to the offense. That's not only as a receiver, but as someone who can take occasional carries and turn them into good yards. From the 26 on second down. It's taken in by Williams. It's on the turf. before he gets much on the return. Well, he was fighting off defenders, trying for the extra yards. You understand it, but might have been what cost him and opened the door for that fumble. Okay, you and I both know this game has changed so much in our lifetimes. It's evolved in so many different ways. But I promise you, you can go back to the 60s, the 70s, and many of these fumbles occur just like that. You break one tackle, you let, you let up just a little bit, and then the next guy comes home and delivers the devastating blow. While a new offense preps to head out, we've got a stoppage. They want to make sure this is a turnover. All right, so we all know what we're looking for here, Brock. Where did an elbow, maybe a knee, something touch down? And as it does, is the ball loose at that point? Yeah, throw in forearm, wrist, shin. <laughs> There's no question the offensive guy's screaming something hit the ground while the defense is hoping it didn't. So the review saves them a turnover. He was, in fact, already down when the ball came free. They're out and set. First and ten. Shotgun snap to Nicks. Finding Reynolds. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. That one goes for 15, and now they're going to have first and goal. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Straight ahead with Williams. And the power play up the gun only results in two yards. Chance at six here. It's second and goal. In motion right is Mims. On second down, it's Williams again. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown. The Broncos shrinking the lead some in the third. Javante Williams, the touchdown.
extra point try now from Lutz. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. They've got first down from the 31. From the shotgun, Rogers. Has his man, it's Corey. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. Well, that's a gain that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Handoff running left. Here's Hall. Down the sideline inside the 30. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. from covering the Seahawks, calling their preseason game. When Pete Carroll was there, if he said it once, he said it 100 times. Stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. You'll give up a short little lot route like that, but just stay on top of the deep threat. They give on second to Hall. Going to the right. Duke the defender. And he heads out of bounds. Great pickup on that ball. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Kate, that's the type of run that shines the light well on him as a runner, of course. But you've got to give a lot of credit to everybody else. Those skill guys, when you have an outside run, they got to do their job. Not just the big boys up front, not just the running backs. That takes everyone. And he will take it in for the New York touchdown. The Jets make it a non-point advantage. Brees Hall with the touchdown. Now in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. Zerline on now for the extra point. splits the uprights and they'll continue adding to their lead Morstead, ready to send this fly. His return starts at the five. His return makes it up to the 25. The Broncos about to get going on offense. Javante Williams headed back out now. They're out 
and set. First and ten. Rod begins with a roll. It's Williams. And he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his O-line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Second and 12 behind the sticks. Catch is made down the right sideline. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period. Yeah. End of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. Extra point try now from Lutz. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Set up and it's away. Just a three point game now. This return starts at the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Jets and Aaron Rodgers headed back out on offense. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. They start the drive with Hall. And they get him down after a solid gain up to the 31. Solid four-yard gain there. And now they've got second and six coming up. to the catch. A very active quarter for us. Plenty of points in that frame as we reach the end of three. The Jets have it with a lead to start the fourth, but the win's not secure quite yet. They're now sent for a first and ten. Play action with Rodgers. He's got it. Room to run. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock. And they'll have first and goal to figure out.
Hall's gonna try to smash his way in. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. He manages a couple, and they are right on the verge of it. Third and goal from the one. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with a loss and make a difficult fourth down decision. So we jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. So the penalty yardage moves him a bit closer here for third and goal. Running it after the penalty. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Third and inches, and you hate to see that run go backwards. I just take myself back to a huddle, and you know you're imploring your guys, listen, just give us a little bit of a push and we will move the sticks instead. Well, the defense is energized with that stop. Three plays haven't gotten it done. Now a fourth to try to reach that end zone. They'll run for it with Hall. And he's in for the touchdown. The Jets make it a nine-point advantage. Brees Hall with the touchdown. Well, they took a gamble, and it paid off with a touchdown on fourth and goal. And to do it on the ground at that, that's a confidence builder. Confidence builder for the big guys up front. Confidence builder for the running back to win at the line of scrimmage. And frankly, Kate, a confidence builder for this fan base that loves coaches being aggressive and going for it on fourth down. Zerline on now for the extra point. splits the uprights and they'll continue adding to their lead It's all lined up. Morstead ready to send this fly. Has this at the six. Finds some space. He's past the 30. His return reaches that 34-yard line before he stopped. Denver set to take the field on offense. And we've seen some matching touchdowns as of late, so the scoring come in at a good clip, Brock. Let's see if they can keep this up. You know what's fun, Kate? After all of these years, I have friends that are offensive guys, friends mm -hmm. that are defensive guys. <laughs> and my friends watching this one offensively love it. The defensive guys, they're climbing up their walls. Drive begins with a run. It's Williams. And solid running there gets him forward to the 39-yard line. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Sure, a whole lot of noise to sort through up the middle, but by the time he figured everything out, he was able to hit them for a decent game. Half one of the marker, it's second and five. Draw play, this is Williams. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Give him three yards, that's going to bring up third and two. You know, some positive yardage there, Kate, but just as important, they're mixing up their play calling and it could very well be setting up the defense for a big play later. Third and just two to go. They stay on the ground with Williams. And he'll get them enough for a first down. That is some old school brutality. An offense close to a first down. A defense that knows there's a run headed right its way. In a battle of wills, the offense gets it done. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Another run for Williams. And he's brought down after a short game. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. Get it past midfield. 
field and down into the Jets' side. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little game on top of it. On third down, here's Williams. And he'll give them enough for a first down. That is an old-school battle you simply love to see. An offense that close to a first down, a defense that knows there's a run headed its way. It's a battle of wills. It's the offense that gets it done this time. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. And the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. He's lucky to get back to the line. I think he knows it, too. That play was in trouble early with how well the defense Kate read it from the beginning. And he did his best just to get back and break even. Out of the gun, it's Nix. Completed to Reynolds. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, and we gotta go finish it. We gotta go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. And he missed it. It's no good. And the deficit remains two scores. They needed a few things to go right to make a comeback. And the first one, well, you had to. That was not a want-to. That was a have-to with that field goal. Without it, Tough to imagine overcoming a two-score deficit, Kate. The Jets and Brees Hall about set to go on offense. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone it hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. The score twice, really been the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it. Field position for the Jets as they come up first and ten. Off play action, Rogers. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Rodgers here from the gun. Throw complete to Williams. Duke the defender. They rip off a huge chunk of field as the downs reset. Speed kills, baby. You better make that tackle right away on these receivers or you're going to get some serious yak. Those yards after catch just like that. Taking a short gain and turning it into an explosive play. First and ten from the 15. Paul takes it straight ahead. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. From the shotgun, Rogers. He's on the move. And he's going to have a touchdown. Let's see if he gets to keep this, though, Brock. We've got some laundry on the field.
You got a major fistful of jersey on that play, and it's going to end up costing him. So now from further back, another try at first and goal. Rodgers here from the gun. Toward the side of the end zone, but that one's incomplete. Thought he had a touchdown there. And that makes it second and goal. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. So the incompletion on first, here's second and goal. Here's Rodgers. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Garrett Wilson, the intended receiver. And that brings up third and goal. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. Now Rodgers on third and goal. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. That one came with a higher degree of difficulty. He had to balance focusing on the catch while staying in balance. Three plays haven't gotten it done. Now a fourth to try to reach that end zone. Now run for it with Hall. And he will take it in. Touchdown, New York. The Jets can put this out of reach as they make it a 16-point lead. Brees Hall with the touchdown. His third of the game on the ground. So, Brock, they take a gamble, and it pays off with a big touchdown on fourth and goal. And they do it on the ground as well, and that just speaks volumes. That's confidence that you can own this line of scrimmage, and your back will see a lane and will get the job done. That just infuses your team and your sidelines with so much confidence. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. It's all lined up. Morstead ready to send this fly. Here's a return from the seven. He's got a lane up past the 30. They'll begin from the 36 as the returner's brought down. The Broncos and quarterback Bo Nix gearing up for their next series. And it just feels like he's been fighting uphill since this one kicked off today, doesn't it? The mistakes just canceling out a lot of what he's been able to do offensively on the positive end of things. This defense, man, they have seized on the mistakes and made life difficult. Good starting field position for the Broncos as they get ready for first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Nix. Cut by Sutton. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. A dose of the hurry up offense here. Second and four. He's got the Jets get there and bring him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. We've learned how valuable sacks and pass rush are in today's NFL. It's a bit surprising, isn't it, Kate? That that's their first sack of the game, but they found other ways to produce success on both sides of the ball. And they finally pick up a much needed sack on that stat sheet. On third down, here's Nix. Flushed out of the pocket. He'll make a bit for it on the ground. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. I can promise you that was the goal from the moment he took off. He kept his eyes locked on the chains, 
It's almost like he had a spidey sense. He knew exactly where to get in order to move the sticks and get that critical first down. On first and ten, here's Knicks. You know, he's not going to be happy the catch was almost made, but he's going to be thrilled that he broke it up. Gives him a chance to do a little jawing after the play. Let that other guy know. He just roughed him up and lost a big catch. Mix again on second and ten. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Out of the gun, it's Knicks. Rolling left, Mike. And he's going to go down. Jets brought the pressure and got to him. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Final quarter. This quarterback's just feeling the need to do a little extra. Try to make something happen outside the pocket. The problem? <laughs> defense wouldn't let him. They have that same kind of urgency. They want to make some plays of their own before they hit the showers. And they got one right there with that sack. He throws a bullet deep to the right side. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. Hey, I get it. It's already over. But go down swinging. Unfortunately, that play, like so many of them today, Kate, has been pretty indicative of how this contest has gone. New York taking over once again. The offense heading out. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. I mean, they've made some music, right? Great mm -hmm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that follow. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. All right, one more snap before the two-minute warning. From the gun, it's Hall. And it's a game of five as we've reached our two-minute warning. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. They go right back to Hall. Pushing for the red zone. And he's going to get it down to the 18-yard line. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And it'll give the Jets a first down. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they can stick it right back in the pocket for a later occasion. Going to the ground again on first. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. Here's Hall once more. And he will score. It's a New York touchdown. The Jets keep adding to that fourth quarter lead. Brees Hall with the touchdown. So an exclamation point there. That caps off what, and I think you'd agree, Brock, has been a dominating performance. Yeah, I would. Really in all phases, too. You know, I thought yeah. coming in that this would be a much closer game than how it's turned out to be. And you got to get credit where it's due. This offense has been outstanding throughout. Mm -hmm. Zerline on now for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead.
It's all lined up. Morstead ready to send this fly. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Broncos running their offense out once again. And they can really do what they want with these last couple of snaps afforded to them because the outcome already decided. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Nicks from the gun. Completed to Reynolds. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. We have a timeout called by the Broncos. That's their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. From the 36. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. Shotgun snap to Knicks. Complete beyond the marker. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. The timeout's taken now as we have one, possibly two snaps remaining in this ball game. Let's see how they attack this first down block from the 43. They'll throw again. Knicks. All right, one more snap to play here. One final shot here. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. And that last pass falls incomplete as this game comes to a close. The win goes to the Jets. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win.